Hey everybody, welcome to the Dano channel. I am Dano. This, of course, is Sebastian Bid, and today I've got a very special video for you. It is a year since Galaxy's Edge opened. Can you believe that a whole year has gone by since we first got to visit Batu? So I figured I would put together a list of my top 10 best memories over the last year through the opening of Galaxy's Edge. Now this is going to be a very long video, so be sure to check the pinned comment or the video description down below for timestamps to specific awesome Batu memories, but I think you might want to see them all. Really, I do. Now, the first big memory is going to be the first memory I have at all of Galaxy's Edge, and that is opening day. Now, opening day was nuts for me. I work a regular day job. This is YouTube isn't the only thing I do. So I went to work. First off, I couldn't sleep the night before I had to go to work. It opened on like Friday, May 31st, and the Thursday, actually, we the Wednesday, let's go back further to Wednesday, the Wednesday night before I had to go to work on Thursday, only to leave work, drive to California, and go. The Wednesday night, I couldn't sleep because I was so excited. It was my last night at home. I'm trying to get everything ready, make sure I've got my jacket, make sure I'm packed, make sure I've got everything I need. So I didn't really sleep. So already, I've been up since at least like 7 in the morning. Wednesday morning, went to work. Wednesday night, stayed up all night, couldn't sleep. So, so just anxious. Go to work Thursday, all day, get home, leave on Thursday to California. We get there, we walk around for a little bit, and then we kind of, we kind of actually ran into Galaxy's Edge Explorers, uh, Bobby and Nadia, uh, went in their little live stream for a little while, and then we like went to California Adventure for a second, checked into the hotel and all that stuff, and I think I got maybe like an hour of sleep. So already... I'm going a full day with no sleep, and I'm adding on top of that like two or three hours of sleep, maybe, maybe, like collectively. And again, we because I had to get up, and I think we got there about four in the morning, four or five in the morning, uh, to go line up in the middle of Disneyland, because the park was going to open at six, even though the land didn't open up till eight. And then we went the whole day, again, with no sleep. And it was, it was just nuts. The whole thing was nuts, but it was a super memorable day. I love that kind of stuff. And I want to rewatch that video with you guys right now. So take a look. Yeah, no, you're there, but you're getting your own memory. And YouTuber. Bright suns, everybody. It's Dano from the Dano channel, but it's actually pretty dark out still. I'm actually I'm waiting on our Uber to show up. It's, it's early. It's like 4 or something. It's like 4.10 in the morning. We're going to be dropped off. Once our ride's going to come here, it's going to pick us up. We're going to get dropped off. Hopefully the line is not too insane. Last night when we were leaving the park at like 10-something, there were people showing up to line up for tonight just to buy merch. But here comes Lisa. I've woken her up so early in the morning. Again, look at the sky. It is, it is, it's not, it's not bright suns yet. <laughs> Not yet. <clears throat> All right. Well, you guys can hear the music. We are in the Esplanade, Esplanade. This crowd's not too bad right now. It's like 4.20, 4.30 in the morning. I'm not sure exactly where we're supposed to, where the end of the line is, but I kind of want to look around and kind of circle the line here and just see who's, see who all made it. See if I see any familiar faces. I'm sure I will at some point. It looks like the end of the line is right here. But I do want to at least kind of... Hey, how's it going? <laughs> yeah, so this isn't bad, actually. For being, you know, 4.30 in the morning, I see a Star Wars Celebration Coca-Cola shirt. That's awesome. Yeah, this is... Uh... Honestly, I was expecting way worse than this. Uh, it's not bad at all. Yeah, this is, uh, this is pretty good. <clears throat> Now, once we get inside the park, we're gonna have to go all the way down Main Street. We're gonna have to hang a right, go to Tomorrowland, check out Star Wars Launch Bay, and then get our wristbands and wait for two hours to be let into the park, the full park at eight o'clock. So we've got a few hours, we've got some time to kill. We've got friends to make in the middle of this line. But again, it's not nearly as bad as I thought it would be. Again, this is the rest of the Esplanade. It's pretty empty at the moment. There's a couple people hanging out over there. This, I'm guessing, is the very front of the line, the people that got here first. Let me actually check. Is this the front of the line? What time did you guys get here? 11. 11. Oh, so right when I was leaving. All right, 11. 
These are people that got here at 11. So it's not bad, actually. It's not bad at all. <laughs> We're moving, guys. You can see if they're going towards the turnstile. Pretty soon that's going to be us. Guys, we're moving. We're going in. They're ready for us. We've got all the cast members ready. So I'm, I'm so excited. And we're still not even going to be in for a few hours. We're still like three hours away from getting in. <laughs> I'm in. We're in the park. There's a turnstiles back there. We're going through the tunnel right now. What are you gonna, yeah, so check this out. We got texture. These are like textured fancy opening day park maps for galaxy's edge i know it's dark i'm gonna be near some better lighting here in just a second but there's the rest of main street look how empty it is it's like four it's like five o'clock in the morning it's rare that you get to be at disneyland at five in the morning last time i did this was in 2015 for the 60th anniversary the 24 hour day but it's neat to be back look at that nice gloss there's the falcon there's batu guys i'm stoked we're about 30 minutes away from being let in. We're not too far back from the main crowd. This is the crowd who has reservations for 8 a.m. And we're right outside the plaza. On this side, these, this is the people who are here for merch. Specifically for merch. Don't have a reservation until probably later or not at all. But right now, this is the group who's going to be going in at 8 a.m. I can't tell how far back it goes. I'll have to ask my wife when she gets back here. But it's not bad. It's not nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. All right, guys. We're moving. Like some people are doing their their power walk, no running. But every, look at her, they go. Everybody's doing it, guys. It's nuts. Everybody's got their cameras out. You can see the crowd over there. This is this is we're doing it. We're doing it. Yep. Galaxy far, far away. We're doing it. We're not even in yet. This is just the launch bay. I don't know if any of you have seen this stuff, but. It looks like a cantina. This is just a small facade. This is not actually Galaxy's Edge yet. This is just the wait to get our reservations checked before we go into Galaxy's Edge. I don't know if you can tell, but look. That's the front of the line. Not, not bad at all. So, guys, we have an issue. Scanned our reservation, our QR code, and it pulls up my reservation for tomorrow from a different account. My eight to 12 reservation pulls up a listing for a five to 9 p.m. reservation, which is wild because they're completely different email addresses. Same name, but either way, we've got a cast member who's gonna be helping us out. They're gonna look at it and get things figured out. So not to panic too much, but it is kind of interesting. If you've changed your reservation, like I had to call and add a plus one, and I think that might be what messed it up. So if you've done that, just keep that in mind when you're doing your trip, especially if you have one of these uh, first month reservations. So just just remember, you might hit a little hiccup. <laughs> so guys, we, we just got, we're walking out of a special room. In fact, there's another group of people being walked to a very special room where we had to have our reservations looked up. It took a little bit of work, but we got our wristbands. It took a little bit longer than I thought it would. It was a little scary, a little touch and go there for a minute. But the good news is we got our wristbands cleared after a few failed attempts. We're good to go. I just, I'm debating, do I go back into Launch Bay now and try to buy merch or do I just go line up for the park entry? So after the issue we had with the reservations and getting our wristband, we decided to wait in line upstairs of, uh, what's it called, Launch Bay, where they have all the exclusive merchandise. So we waited, I don't know, what, 30 minutes maybe, about 30 minutes or so, uh, and we didn't get to see what they were actually selling which is the rough part. So we waited kind of for nothing. So we get up there, it's limited edition pins, a couple limited edition t-shirts with today's date on them, specific annual pass holder stuff, which I'm not an annual pass holder. So kind of out of obligation, I bought the uh, limited edition pin for today, $15.99. That is what it looks like. It's cool, but again, it was one of those kind of like gotcha moments. We're like, ah, I waited in line. I can't make this for nothing. I definitely lost my place of where we were. We were way further ahead earlier. Now you can see we're a lot further back, but I think it's going to be just fine. As soon as the land opens up, people are going to spread out. We'll be all right. We're moving pretty quickly now. We're actually on the other side of the Matterhorn. You can see there's Tomorrowland Lagoon over there. 
I think we're going to do Doc Gondras for a snag some crystals and then head over to Sabi's workshop or the Droid Depot. I don't know. It's going to be a toss up depending on how busy it is. <laughs> we're walking through an empty fantasy land. I mean, empty except for the hundreds of us ready to get into Galaxy's Edge. But it is a pretty rare sight to see it with not very many people over there. I mean, just look at that. Thank you guys so much. Thank you all so much. Yes, yes, yes. We're in. We are in. Oh my goodness, there's Ah, oh, this is overload. The refreshers. Okay, this is. I, I don't have words. <laughs> oh, look. Here's the Coke bottles. This is the line for the cantina. Hey, Dan, high five. Take that, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Smugglers, right Smugglers here. run line. Right here, right here. This is the cantina line over here on our right. Hey, we are going to try and make our way over to Doc Gondar's. We should be this big building right in front of us. I believe that line is Doc Gondar's. Dude, the theming in here is nuts. Like every detail of this place. Look at the weathering on those cracks in the wall. Again, this is the entrance. You're walking into Oga's Cantina. There's just so much going on. Oh, what? There, there, there it is. Oh, it's, it's, <laughs> there it is. That's the, <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of surprised nobody's over. I mean, everybody's in line for the ride. This is the back end of the queue. There's some official people up there doing some filming. But guys, I am inches from the real <laughs> Millennium Falcon. It, it's, I can, I can almost touch it. I can almost, like, it's right there. But look at all of that. Oh my god, okay. I'm, I'm losing, losing sight of what I wanted to do here. There's Stocking Base 7. Doc Ondar should be this shop right ahead of us. Let's go get some kyber crystals. Make some lightsabers. This is amazing. This Where are you, Daddy? We gotta go. How are you? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome to the outpost, travelers. Thank you. Looks like the gatherers. Is this, this is... Doc Hondars. Got it. Is it open? Oh my goodness. Okay, now my number two, the, the second best memory, it actually kind of goes in chronological order almost. Some of these do, some don't. But the next like biggest memory, kind of the next big thing that happened for me was building my very first droid S4DB4BY. That's you. Now, of course, you didn't look like this. You did not look anything like this back when I first built you. Take a look. A lot of weathering. A lot of customization has been done to you since, but you're still my first droid. And you'll always have a very special place because you're my first droid. Uh, now this led to other things. This led to me starting a droid club. I mean, all kinds of different stuff. So I want you to watch the vlog where I first made S4D before BY on day one of Galaxy's Edge. We are right outside of the droid depot. Let's take a look and see what, it, what it, what's going on in here. 
Oh my goodness. It is, it is, it's packed, of course. Is that like say butts to nuts? All right, guys, this is where we'll customize our droid. We've got backpacks, adult backpacks. I want that cool one with the patches on it. How much are these little accessory panels? $12.99 for the accessory panels. I don't know if the droids don't have them at all to begin with, but there's black, white, purple, and these are specifically for the R unit, orange and red, all $12.99 each. There's some more stuff down there. There's the drink tray. How much is that drink tray? It's my kind of droid right there, but that is $17.99 for the drink tray. Just gonna set that down. We've got decals, what? We've got decals that are kind of more, so oh, they do a little bit of everything. You get a mixed bag, Planet Naboo. You get some Planet Yavin 4 on the pink one. Uh, what do we get, yellow? Oh, yeah, these are actually really, really cool. 709 Legion, I like that right there a lot. Green looks good. What are these, are these black? Black decals, ah, what, Boba Fett? There's white ones, this is, there's so much happening. And then we've got others. Oh, look, there's tools. You can get tools for your droid. These are going to be $12.99 per tool set. And again, I believe these are all $12.99. There's blasters, jets. There's a fully loaded and decked out R unit. Drinks got tools, jets, and he serves drinks. That is right up my alley. So straight ahead is the droid registration where there's two separate lines here. You can see on the screen, $99.99 per droid either a BB unit or an R2 unit. See this conveyor belt? Back there, there is a conveyor belt with parts going by. You gotta wait and pick your parts as they come streaming by you. You get to pick based on what you need. Over on the walls, there's recipes basically telling you what to do, what pieces you need. Once you've filled your basket with pieces, you come over to this section and you can start building your droid together. You can see there's some tools hanging down there. You're gonna use those and put everything together. They'll activate your droid for you, and then you're on your way. All right, we've got our basket. Now it's gonna be for an R series. We're looking to get these specific parts. So we're gonna start picking them off the line. Now I, I think I'm gonna start off with this blue. This kind of matches the channel logo. I think that's what I'm gonna go for. You guys suggested it over on the YouTube community tab to make it match. So I'm pretty sure that's what I'm gonna go through, and that's the right kind of blue. So we're gonna start with this core. We're gonna grab, you know what, let's grab, I just missed this. Ah, uh, I like the clear. I think the clear looks really cool. So I'm gonna put that in here. I've got some blue legs. Do I want blue legs or do I want white legs? I think I want white legs. I think white. I think white's gonna be a little cooler, right? Yeah. And then I gotta grab the middle leg as well. I'll do a blue, no, I'll do white. I'm not seeing any white legs coming through. Okay, I'll take a white middle leg. And so the pieces I need are the dome, the core, legs, and then a middle leg. So I just need a pair of white legs, and I think I should be ready to go. Here they come, down to the conveyor belt. I think I'm all set. All right. There you go. Looks like I'm being brought over to this little work here. So this will show you Okay, great. Oh, we can customize further with those pieces. If you didn't purchase any, It says to put, I mean, let's see this up close on this little thing here. It tells us to go ahead and put our uh, legs together first onto the core. So I'm going to set my core up like that. We're going to do this two times. Step two is going to be to insert this little weird middle leg thingy. Step three, we're going to put the top on. Step four, we're going to add these little side panels that they've got over in this little basket over here. Uh, that is four and five. And then six is to press your alert tech button. One of these buttons, I believe, or this one right here, is going to alert the tech to come get everything ready. I guess there's all the stuff they're gonna be doing there, and then they'll be activating our droid for us. All right, so let's get this open. I've got leg number one. Notice these wires. 
face the front. In the picture, they show these little wires facing the front. We're going to put this right in there. I'm going to take this tool. Because that tool does kind of spin. And we're going to use it right in this little screw here. There you go. That one's on. Take my second leg. That pops right in there. Maybe it doesn't. <laughs> there we go. Oh, the, see this one, the uh, screw is very loose. Good. Oh, I'm going to get my tool out. Way better this way. Got it? Yeah. Cool. That one's good. Legs are on. We're going to take this middle one, I think. There's got to be a right way and a wrong way because of that notch. So at the bottom here, we do see there's a little notch sticking out. I'm going to just insert that right in there. He's looking good. And the last thing I'm going to do, and again, in the dome, there is a notch right there. You see that little notch? That means inside there's got to be something similar. Now see, there's a little notch right up there towards the top. I'm just going to line that. And it should be able to twist right on. Oh, yeah. He's looking good. So now I can take these little pieces, customize the sides. I'm thinking, I'm thinking dark blue. Oh, maybe white. I don't know if these are my only options here. I've got black. Oh, I have white. There's white. Wow, there's so many different little pieces in here. Whoa, they're so like. These little things go in. I'm gonna assume you just pop them in. That looks good. Oh, I think I did that upside down. You should just snap into place. There we go, that looks good. So that means I can put all these little scraps off to the side. I don't know what color I should do for the legs. Black, white, blue. And what does this do? Where does this go? This uh, this one eludes me. I don't know what this piece is. And I think I might have the head on backwards. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Guys, I don't know what the heck this does. I'm going to take a black one. I don't have the colors I want for the sides. I only have options of red... Three reds, two blacks, two whites, and I may have to ask some technicians for some help here. I'll you guys out just Sure, sure. What color do you want? I kind of want blue. All right, then. I think blue would look good right on there. And again, I don't know what this does. I think we can figure out what this does in the meantime. That one is actually for the That's it. That's it. Do you know if you have any blue ones of these? That would be perfect. Speed us right along if we can get some blue ones. Max, we got some lightsabers to make. Yeah, yeah. We got, so we're in a little press of time. I've got my protection and defense. You've got your elemental nature. We've got a lightsaber appointment any minute now. We need to hurry, get the droid built, and get back over there to Sabi's workshop, which luckily is right next door to the droid depot. Look at how they've activated the droid. I think I may be out of luck on the blue pieces. Because I see the tech looking back there, and it doesn't look good. I would say black I'm thinking not. black might be the option. Yeah. There has to be blue. There is no, no blue? Looks, no, it looks like we have a lot of red, white, and black. Okay, and these just kind of snap yeah, on. Yeah, they just snap on. Yep, that way. Okay. It'll go like that back in first. Down in. Ah, okay. There we go. And then I think I'm going to be just about ready to activate. Just a sec. There we go. I like him. I think he looks cool. He matches. He looks good. And we're going to hit the alert tech button. Oh, it started flashing. That's really cool. We are ready to go. Doing the magic here. Oh, thanks. I've got one too. Mine's a little more, more done up. Oh, wow. I made it myself. 
out of Mama Oh my goodness, Google runs the shop, right? Google runs the shop. He's very passionate about his story. Awesome. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Oh, we've got a special remote here. Dropping it in, that's really interesting. I don't know if you can see that. But dropping in, there's blinking. It's carrying. We're going to press this activate button down here. Ready? Activate! Activating coupler. We're going to be doing acoustic signaler next. We got the primary photoreceptor logic function. Whoa. And then a droid activation. Look at it go. We've got an appointment with the gatherers. Sabi. Yeah, Savi and the gatherers. There we go. Okay, and they're snug. There. Very right. cool. And then these. Is it okay if I leave these oh, with no, you? No, or I can take that as well. Okay. There's that. There's this one. And. Thank there we you go. so much. Thank you so much for building with Great. us. Thank you. Nice now, of course, what kind of memories list wouldn't be complete? Without mentioning Savi's lightsabers, building my first lightsaber was really, really, it was, it was quite a special experience. Now I have them all, so I'm, I'm like super set on everything, but even though I have them all, I can't wait to go back, because building Savi's lightsaber for the first time was just, it was amazing. Take a look. Guys, we're inside Savi's workshop. The gatherers have got us lined up at our stations. We're gonna be building lightsabers right here. I'm gonna find out if I can bring my own crystal. Yellow's not an option in here. We get blue, red, green, or purple. But I've got yellow, and I wanna know if they're gonna let me use it. You can hear the music, see the lighting. There's some, look at that, there's old, old candle wax going on. There's a weird kind of creepy, mysterious vibe going on in here. And I really, really like it. This is cool. Oh, the door. The door's closing. It's time. You're outside. We're in trouble times out there. We had to make sure that you were the ones we were looking for. But you made it. This is it. The Sabi's workshop. You're safe now. And I know this may all look like junk to you, but all this junk to us, this is everything. Allow me to get into your search. Sam, and this is Andy back here. My name is Vincent, and we humbly call ourselves the Gatherers. We as Gatherers preserve our past in order to protect our future. Along with the knowledge of the Force, we pass it on to future generations and to all of you today. We as Gatherers travel all over the galaxy looking for all of this junk that you see in here to build exactly what you came here looking for. I'm sure you all know and can see that we are in troubled times. And we've heard legends in our past of those who have answered this call for help that we've had. Legends like Luke Skywalker. And now we have a new Jedi. You all know who I'm talking about, right? What's her name? Rey. She is our spark of hope that we've been waiting for. And she answered the call. Just like all of you. That's why you're here, right? You're in response to the call. Well, Andrew. Build this. The lightsaber. 
it is both elegant and enigmatic. And building a lightsaber is a work of art. The lightsaber has been carried by some of our greatest of heroes and our strongest of enemies. But where do we begin with creating such a work of art? It all begins with this. The Kyber Crystal. The Kyber Crystal is our connection to the Force, the very heart of your saber. And the color of the crystal depicts the color that your blade will be. There are many colors of Kyber Crystals, but today for you, we have four. The first one is the blue. Once wielded by Master Obi-Wan Kenobi, his apprentice Anakin Skywalker, and now a spark of hope, Ray. The green Kyber Crystal, once carried by Qui-Gon Jinn, Ahsoka Tano, Luke Skywalker, and Master Yoda himself. The violet Kyber Crystal, rare and beautiful, once carried by Master Mace Windu. And lastly, The red, the crystal of power, once carried by Darth Vader, Darth Maul, Asajj Ventress, and now Kylo Ren. But enough about them and about the past. We're here for you builders and for your future. So everyone, close your eyes. Close your eyes. I can see you. Close your eyes. No peeking. And picture the crystal that is calling to you. The one that is in your heart, for it will become the heart of your saber. Now, builders, open your eyes and take your crystal. my own crystal can I use that as I build the force call okay okay we'll go with the blue for now then. thank you once you've selected your crystal if you have not already go ahead and place it in green further in front now we need to put a harness all of this power so we'll move on to our guilt the guilt is the foundation of the life it is our control center and it also helps by keeping our fingers from disintegrating, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Which one did you select? Pardon? Which one did you select? Oh, I'm sorry. Now the gatherers are placing the selection you made earlier in front of you. And I know it's a lot of pieces, but don't worry, we'll explain everything. So, builders, let's explore. Now in this box, there is a chassis, first and foremost, to house your time with this four grips to hold on to your saber, an emitter for your blade to come out, and a pommel to house your power cell. Also, our activation plates, which will serve as your on and off switch to your saber. Now, if you need any help with your build, Andy, Sam, and I are here to help. So, let's build. All right. So, first, we're going to start with our chassis. Grab your fiber crystal. You're going to insert your fiber crystal in the middle here. Definitely hard to do one handed. Got it. There we go. Look at that. A red square and a blue square. On your chassis is the same red square and blue square. So you match them up. Ooh, ooh, that's heavy. Now, we have our activation plate. Now, pick up your activation plate and look on the inside. There should be a colored tab that you can put in. And that red will get you the map. Colored or not, on your chassis. If you don't see them, turn your chassis around. Now, one click on each side will be matched. You'll pick out your activation plate. And the red will match to the red. You're going to see the red corner blue shirt. And then you have to put the red on your chassis. It will snap right on now, if you've done that, pick out your grips. 
Okay. You got your first one on the top, thicker rim towards your fiber crystal. Okay. All right. Very good. Next, we're gonna take one of our bricks. Any one of them you want to use? Stay right here. We're gonna place it on the top. Thicker. Thicker so the thicker part goes towards the crystal. That goes for this too. So this brown. In this case, these will go towards the crystal. Wow. Oh, and you can kind of rotate it. Very good. And again, this brass band. Oh, wow. And let's kind of take a look and see what you've got. Oh, uh, you went with the end cap first. You want to start with these. So you're going to slide this thicker part right here. It's going to go towards the center right here. Oh, did you? yeah. And now you can move on to your emitter. Do you want the top? I'm going to go. The this, yeah, the emitter is my palm. And you want to get that done. Right. Awesome. Here's my emitter. And that does twist on. There you go. There you go. And then, again, my pommel. Maybe a little bit better. That'd be great. Yeah. Is it going to twist on there? Does it keep twisting forever, or? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. There we go. Now, I don't know if I got the top all the way on. Yep. Perfect. Got on. Good. There we go. It's nice and okay. tight. Now, these will screw into the middle activation. So I'm going to let you choose your, go with your journey. So screw that first. Okay. Very good. I'm going to move it around. And ah, that one. perfect. Nicely done. So you just make sure it's nice and tight. This looks great, by the way. Thank you. All right. Just so you know, this is your activation. You can hear it misfiring. All right, you can test it out a little bit for yourself. So I'm going to let you hold on to it. I'm going to this back here. When you're all set, you can uh, put it right here. Good job. Look at that. Wow. Please, yes, you should know. I focus ring quartz and cut myself. This will be your activation switch. I'm going to ask you don't turn it on right now because if you end up causing some kind of mess in my shop, I'm going to be really sad. I won't get any credits. Yeah, and you know, Savi, she would not be happy. So just make sure you don't turn it off. Okay? How about you? All set. Yes. Beautiful. Your activation switch. Same thing. Don't turn it on. Right. How are you doing, friends? Can you take a peek? Yes. I'll tell you too. I also pulled this right towards you. The cool most. Wonderful. This will be your activation switch. Do not turn it on right now. I don't want it on. I'll keep you. I'll make you clean. And then Fabi wouldn't pay you credit for it either. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Surprisingly heavy. Yeah. That means for two hundred dollars, that feels like you're getting a weighty piece of, you know, good quality thing there. I like it. I like what you got going on there. Now everyone place your hand in front of you in the cradle that you see, 
And we're going to move on to the next step, which is the most dangerous. So I need everyone to take a big step back from your bar station. Now the gatherers are coming around and placing your milk into the crystal stabilization chamber. So I can place it right there on the counter. It's very dangerous. Normally it's done by a force field. But since we as gatherers are not force sensitive, we have technology to do it for us. Now just take a very practiced hand. One slip up can mean an explosion or a loss of an arm, right, Ben? Uh, that is really right. Yeah. <laughs> Now we're going to move on to the next step of our bonding. Much skill and passion chosen for yourself you have. Now, join, you will be. It is time. Wow. Master Yoda, it is time. Builders, the time has come for us to complete the bond. But we are going to take this step as we have taken every other along our journey today. And that is together. So builders, all together, take a step forward. Place your hand on your hilt. And activate. <laughs> uh, now raise your lightsabers. You have just built a lightsaber, just like a Jedi and Sith before you. And like them, you too can change the galaxy. Remember, it only takes a spark. Go ahead. <laughs> Please deactivate your sabers. Ah, your lightsaber is. So now, you estimate your sabers. Oh. Mm. So thank you, Master Yoda. And thank you, Builders, for allowing us to be a part of your journey. In your hands, you hold remarkable power. And remarkable power should not be dropped on the ground. <laughs> so, <laughs> to protect your new lightsaber, we are pleased to present a saber sheet to you as you depart. You have each built sabers as unique extraordinary as every one of you. Now our time together is at an end, but your journey is just beginning. It's time for you to make your mark on the galaxy. And who knows, maybe next time I'll be here telling your story. Now as we say here in Black Bear Outpost, till the spire. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Whoa. Whoa. We did it. We've got him. Can confirm it's nice, heavy, solid metal. That's that's not solid metal, the, the lightsaber is. <laughs> but there we've got the elemental nature there. Is yours lit up? Yours isn't lit up, is it? No. No. Oop, dunk me on the head. There you go. You can see it even in the daylight, it's got a little bit of a green tint to it. Mine's got that blue tint to it. These are quality. That show was quality. I was a little apprehensive over the $200 price tag, but for the quality build of a saber that has sound, that, you know, that whole experience, the whole show, the lighting, it was worth it. I think it was worth it. I, I'll, I'll be back. I might have to wait a little bit. I'll be back. Now, another really big, important moment for me personally was our very first droid meetup. Now, during the weekend of D23, we had actually set up and scheduled our very first, very, very first droid meetup. I had already created the Facebook group for Mubos, and this is our first physical in-person gathering. We decided to do it outside of D23. We wanted it during D23 because we figured people would be there, but we did it outside of D23 at the Disneyland Hotel. And we actually hung out there and we met up. Yeah, no, you were there. That was the first time a lot of people got to see you. And it was the first time we could see a lot of really cool droids. There was a Pixar ball droid. Really, at the end of the day, a lot of these people who were at that very first meetup are still part of the group, are still coming to meetups, are still hanging out, are still people I consider friends because of Galaxy's Edge and because of droids. How crazy is that? Now here we are. We've got done a couple meetups. The group's grown. Oh, yeah. The, absolutely. The Ordinary Adventures video. 
that video they did on our most recent physical in-person meetup really helped grow the group a ton, as well as people like Dan the Fish Guy, uh, Ryan Morella, Michael Galloway, those people who are in the parks all the time, showing off their cool like droid pod, escape pods, talking to people in person. And it's just neat that these kind of people all came from this idea of like, hey, I want to paint my droids and we should start a group of other people who want to paint our droids. And it's just amazing to see what it's grown into. So guys, I am at the Disneyland Hotel. We're hosting a, see these in my hand, a droid depot. It's a Mubo's Droid Builders Club, droid meetup. You can see them all back there behind me. Let's go take a look and see all the different droids we've got. And that was when I, and it was, it was before I got it, got a droid. That's a pretty good turnout of people to show up just to talk about it and hang out and nerd out on our Droid Depot droids. But take a look, we're doing a big group photo right now. So, there you go. You can kind of see them all going through there. Some are lighting up. <laughs> I was so going to put a shot of Keati Mooney in the background saying, what about the Jordan? Oh, <laughs> like I said, these were the Jordans he was talking about. No, I don't think they... Oh, oh there we go. Because they were like, we want to serve our clients, our Jordans. Now, not only was the first droid meetup very important, but so was the first, yeah, the first lightsaber meetup. Now, this took place during the same time period. It was actually right before, it was the day before the first droid meetup was the first lightsaber meetup. And it was, it was cool. It was cool because later on, you'll see exactly what it became months later. I got my lightsaber. Look at all those lightsabers. We're doing a big giant group picture thing here in front of the Millennium Falcon. You can see this falcon right behind me and a bunch of sabers. We're gonna do one giant photo with as many sabers as we could gather through the Discord chat. So let's, let's see how that turns out. Alright. This ought to be interesting. Hey, perfect spot. Ready to go. Yes, white on either end. It's nuts. White over here and one over here. Now, another event that happened during D23 weekend. Yeah, you were there. It was the same one as the Droid Depot, same as the first lightsaber meetup. Uh, it was actually right after the Droid meetup. We did a big group picture in front of the Falcon. And afterwards, I went over to the Cantina to meet up with Sir James, Star Wars IRL, and always believe and we filmed a little quick collaboration video together and it was a lot of fun just hanging out with them drinking talking it was very loud though in Oga, so we we're kind of worried that it wouldn't sound great and it it sounds okay so heads up as we watch this clip i'm not going to show you the whole thing but i want you to go watch the actual video on star wars irl's page yeah no it's really good he's got a great channel so go watch it over there but here's just some of the highlights but the funny part you should know is we were all like okay we're gonna do a video together but what and we didn't know and so he comes up, he's like, okay, we're all going to say what our favorite thing at Galaxy's Edge is. And I went first. I didn't know that we were like, that it was going to be a long, like that it was going to be just that for the video. I thought maybe this was one clip in the video, of like a longer video. I gave the most basic answer ever. And it's kind of funny because he even like looks over like, that's all you got, dude. But it's still one of my favorite moments, just because it was so much fun hanging out with everybody. But it was just to me, it's just a funny moment. So watch the clip, and when he like when we get into it, and we say like what our favorite things is, I'm like, droids, and that's it. He's like, that's it. That's all you got. It's hilarious. And to me, it's hilarious to watch it back later because I didn't know I was supposed to elaborate. I could have gone on for like an hour. You know how I talk. <laughs> All right, so we're at Cantina at Galaxy's Edge. We had planned for a triple collab, but then we ran into Always Believe, four away. It's more. You wanted the Avengers, now there's like an extra. There's even more. There you go. So we're here, we're having drinks, we're having a good time. Just talking about what we love about Batu. Why you should come, why you should consider it. And by the way, I should probably introduce everyone. So 
Yes, I'm Dano from the Dano channel. You might know me, you might not. But either way, what do we got over here? Alright, I'm Sir Jane. You pretty much already know the content I have, folks. Huh? And always believe. Yeah, always believe. I'm Brian and this is Ashley. Uh, check out channel Always Believe. All just about having fun and loving Star Wars and just playing and projecting. And projecting. We got that. Lucky that. I hope your audio works. <laughs> I know, right? All of this, all subtitles for this video. When the canteen, this is my first time. Everyone else, they're all veterans, I think. And we're just gonna go around the table, say what we really like about this place. Am I first? He's first. Droids, building droids. Droids, droids Epo is my favorite. Um, at the moment, this drink. No, but definitely Sammy's workshop was super emotional for me. It made me feel you know, like the gathering episode, Star Wars, Ezra, Lothal's Temple. Um, how immersive the experience is. The whole thing? Everything. The whole, you never feel like you're not in Star Wars. Even you know when you go to the bathroom. I can't wait for the hotel. Oh, um, I know. I think my heart is not here. So expensive. <laughs> it's like $3,000 and you have to be there for three days. One room. Did you hear that? Worth it. They, they changed the price? Yeah. There's a price? There's 3300 for a single room. Oh, one person, you have to be there for like three days too. It's like a whole experience. I don't like it, but I'll agree with it. <laughs> <laughs> That was a huge moment. Yes, the opening of Rise of Resistance was huge. Now, this was this past, uh, I went to the one in Disneyland, not the one in Florida. I saw back problems for the one in Florida, I couldn't go. But I went to the one at Disneyland in July, July, I'm sorry, not July, January, January 17th. Now, I know what day it is, but January 17th, I went to the opening of Rise of Resistance and I got to, again, hang out with a lot of my friends. This time, I spent a lot of time hanging out with Miguel and Janelle of Magic Journeys. Now, they are longtime friends of the channel. Back when I think we both hit about 2,000 subscribers in like 2015, we were hanging out at Disneyland. We've done a couple videos together. He, Miguel McVie built a lightsaber on my channel. I've done food reviews with them on their channel. And this day, they kind of invited me along to talk Galaxy's Edge and ate a little bit of food. And it was just, it was a good to hang out with them. Because honestly, I've missed them. I haven't really hung out with them as much lately because I don't live in California. And the only time I get to see a lot of these people is when I visit, if they happen to be there. So for me, it was just like a special day to be able to hang out with them and just kind of, you know, I don't know. I love these people. I really do love these people. And it's kind of neat to just collaborate like that and do it in Galaxy's Edge. Take a look. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> you guys are here at Galaxy's Edge because Rise of the Resistance has finally opened yes. today. So we're here, we got our boarding pass and we're gonna try three new foods that just mm -hmm. came out today. So we're excited for this. Yes. If you guys here, I'm a little sick but I didn't want to miss out today. I wanted to show up so I can ride the rides of the resistance. Woo! And we want you guys to come along. So why don't you join us today on this wonderful, wonderful world, world of food. food. Here we go. I guys, like guess who I found here today? It's Dano Hi. of the Dano channel. Long time. Got a custom printed raised lightsaber from Rise of Skywalker. Yeah, they're plastic, but painted to look like metal. And they're over a Sabi's custom lightsaber chassis. So it uses the same blades as the Legacy lightsabers, lights up just like them too, and has a crystal chamber inside. I actually did a review on it yesterday. Check out the Dano channel, he's awesome. Old friend of mine, he does some great stuff on his uh, channel where he creates lightsabers, he does tour reviews. Do you still do Lots, tour reviews? Yeah, somewhat. Okay. Lots so of random Star reviews. Wars stuff. If it's Star Wars, I'll end up talking about it. If you guys love Star Wars, check out Dano. He has some really cool stuff. Yeah. I'll leave the link in the description below. Yeah. So one thing a lot of people don't realize is the Millennium Falcon will actually get hacked by you if you're using the data pad. So I can go on here and do a quick little puzzle. Maybe it'll be quick, we'll see how good I am. And get ready to watch the jets. They're all gonna go off here. I just- Whoa, that's insane. I control all of Galaxy's Edge. All right, so we're gonna get some breakfast at 
It's still early in the morning, so we're gonna get some breakfast here at uh, Docking Bay 7. So let's go inside. <laughs> All right, Dano, you got the last one. Be our guest. Now, this is the Mustafarian lava roll, right? Oh, yeah. A little lava. What is it, like a citrus kind of glaze on there? Some burnt Oreo bits on top. Now, this is a big version of what you had in the breakfast, yes. right? Yes, yep. All right. Now I'm jealous because you're trying this out, so I'm just looking at you like... Uh, I didn't look, <laughs> it's weird because there's kind of these white little crumbles, too. I just pick it up and go for it, just right? Go for it. That's All what right. I do. Just do it. Oh, That's my god. Get goodness. in there, Dano. Oh, my you got this. Oh, Whoa. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. That was really good. It's really you good, right? Everything in that bite. It was a big bite. Uh huh. Well, Very sweet. Yeah. It's, but you can taste a little bit of that citrus. Mm. You get chocolate and you get the nice, just sweet roll in there. Yep. That was really good. <laughs> Very good. Very good. I'm a little jealous. Yeah, <laughs> but we, I mean, you went for it. So I we did. do on this channel, we just go for it. Gotta go for it. Gotta that go for it. Very <laughs> true. Now, another great big memory that, again, holds personal, like, this is personal stuff for me because I, I created it, and I'm kind of amazed sometimes when I look back at the stuff that Galaxy's Edge, right? Yeah, no. The stuff that Galaxy's Edge inspired me to do and create and start is, like, it's amazing. Now, the Droid Club is kind of a beast of its own. It's got its own members doing its own thing, and, like, I don't feel that I even contribute that much to it. <laughs> it's kind of its own, just, like, awesomeness. The Batu Bounty Hunt, on the other hand, is still fairly new. I think we've only had one or two other people host their own bounty hunts before the park closed. It was still fairly new before all the closing. But I created the Batu Bounty Hunt. And what I started it out was, was like a hide-and-seek kind of game. I would go live on Instagram, and if you could find me and tell me the secret code word that I give out during the live stream, then you could claim the bounty. And the bounty was these 3D printed credits that I made. You know, just like cool little, cool looking credits and stuff. And, I mean, there's all different kinds. There's, like, bars. There's neat stuff. But I've, I've expanded. I've designed my own. I've got different types. And we made these cool little bags now that are Batu Bounty Hunt credit bags. And the very first bounty hunt, I was so nervous about how it was going to go. I was like, this is either going to go really well, and it's going to be over like that, or nobody's going to pay attention. Nobody's going to care. <laughs> right. I was super worried that, like, I was going to go live and like be like, well, come find me. And nobody was going to be in the park that was watching me. And it was just going to be a complete flop. It wasn't. I was found within a couple minutes. Just take a look at this clip. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Dano channel. I am Dano. And today we are in Galaxy's Edge on Batu, And we are going to be doing real life bounty hunting. Now, you may notice I've got some stuff over here. These are little prizes. This is going to be the bounty. Uh, if you watch or follow my Instagram, you know that I've been printing out some 3D currency. I've got some coins, but you can see a little close up there. I've been 3D printing some coins and different kind of stuff. There's more in there. Uh, but I'm going to be giving these away. So if you follow me on Instagram at Dano Flores or the hashtag Batu Bounty Hunt, there'll be links down below. When I go live, which it's going to happen in just a minute, if you're following that live stream, know the actual code word that I give out in the live stream and find me, you get to win one of these. And there's one of them that doesn't have a certain piece, and the person who gets that is actually gonna get a printed Beskar. Now these are all 3D printed that I printed myself with files from thingiverse.com. There'll be links down below also to the files so you can print your own if that's your thing. Now they are non-commercial use files, so don't ask me if I can sell them to you. I can't, but I can give them away as bounty. So that's what we're gonna be doing here. In fact, you guys get to see it happen live right now. I'm going to start on Instagram. I'm going to go live and go check the connection. This is happening. Hopefully, we'll see. I don't know how fast this is going to go. I don't know if someone's going to find me right away. Hi. Hello. Hi, Instagram. I still don't have a code word. Or do I? You do. Blur. Blur. I'm going to use code word blur. I so, just got all my notifications. There's some people here. Okay, you got notifications? Good. Hi. I'm live. Hello. We're doing a Batsu bounty hunt right now. You gotta find me. If you can find me, and I'm, who knows what that could be? That could be anywhere, but I am on Betu in Disneyland. If you can find me, thumb up to me and see the code word blur. Blur is in those things that the wheel rides in Mandalorian blur. If you come up to me and say the word blur, you can pick one of these, these bounty bags, and the special one is gonna get Beskar. So this is a real bounty hunt. I've got a price on my head. You guys, say the word blur. Come up to me and say the word blur. Just figure out where I'm at. I'm gonna be here for a couple minutes, maybe about five minutes or so, and then I'm gonna move. I'm gonna 
gonna make it a little harder. I'm gonna move. So you gotta be following this live stream. We've got about 21 people right now watching. Some people are like, bro, Canada's too far. Well, obviously it's not for you. This is for people who are visiting Disneyland today, and they know there are a handful. I've seen you guys this morning. So, there is the secret word for this stream. You just gotta figure out where I'm gonna, I'll give you a little, little hints as to where I'm hanging out. But, oh, look, we got more people in here. So someone get the best car. Yeah, I know somebody wants the best car. I know you guys want the best car. But if you're down here, figure out where I'm at. The secret word is blur. 36 people are watching right now. Thumbs up, leave Oh, thank you guys for leaving all the hearts. We're actually, you can see my wife's over here filming. This is going to be a video on YouTube about bounty hunting on Batu. I basically put a price on my own head. The secret word is blur. Blur, B L R B L U R R G, blur. It's those weird do back looking things that Bill wrote on Mandalorian. Blur is the word. Thank you for the thumbs up. Yeah, it's Ed Explorers is here. What's going on? There's some waves. Hi. I'm here. This is really ha I'm staying here. I don't know how long it's been. How long are you at here? I'm at 340. Okay, so I think maybe we'll hit the 10 minute mark. Okay. And then I'm going to slightly change location. So if you're here, blur. There you go. Triplet Ash. Blur. That's it. That's it. Keep commenting with that so people know the secret word. It's blurred. It's like a flea. You're going to see it. It's a little buzzing bug. All right. Oh, more 45 people here. There's a good amount of people here watching live right now. I'm on the two. This is the bounty. You get to pick one of these bags. And a certain one of them will get the best card if you want. Blur, yes. The word is blur. I am a galaxy's edge. I am a galaxy's edge in Anaheim, Disneyland, California. You need some life for, yeah, you do need some life for about two months. Let's see if it happens. Hi. Blur. Blur. Oh, we have our first bounty hunter. What's your yes. name? Uh, Jose. Jose. Jose is very fast. That was really That was very quick. Was that? That was Four minutes and 30 seconds from when I started filming. You started before I went live. Yeah, probably wow. like a minute okay, so or two. Happened. That was way Yeah, yeah. I was like, we're here in the morning, we're watching your live feed. Like, awesome. Your stories, I was like. Let's go grab some green milk. Maybe we'll like run into it. I'll cool. be honest, I, I didn't know if this was going to work or not. <laughs> I was kind of worried nobody would be here and I would just be sitting here forever. But Jose, you did it. Okay, so here's the deal. I've got three bags here. There's three different bags. They all have almost the same stuff. One of them's missing something. And whichever one that's missing it, you get the best card. You get the one that's missing it. So I'll let you know which one it is. But you can pick one of those three. One of those three. One of those three. All right. <laughs> it's kind of black you hybrid crystal too. Did you? Yeah. Oh, wow. This one? Right. Good luck today. So I'm going to go with this back. Is that one? Okay. Yeah. All right. So I'll put it up. I'll be able to tell real quick. Just by looking. Just by looking. Okay. Again, this is the one winner. We'll do two tomorrow. This is the one for today. I would have been a best girl winner already. I have a feeling. I just want to see it. Oh, yeah. You got it. Oh, yeah. yeah, we got it. The other one's out of the Oh, man. You, Jose, you were on it today. We are. <laughs> that, you were quick about this? Sir, this is your Go get a lottery ticket today, yeah, today man. Go get a lottery oh, ticket man. today. At least your day for sure. This is great. Like, we just did Rise of the Resistance. We got oh, in got early morning group, Yeah, we got an early Plus, morning group. Like, like, take yeah, them and buy lottery day. tickets what right now. <laughs> right now. We'll figure out. Oh, yeah. Thanks. I would shake you around here. And there you go. Perfect. You're Thanks gonna so be on much. YouTube if that's okay with you. That's great. Right on. That's I'm great, glad this man. is successful. Oh, okay. so quickly. Congrats see. on the best card. Oh, oh, he it. wants to see that, of course. Oh, you got it with me. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Right. That's crazy. I love that. So yeah, there you go. <laughs> now, since then, I actually went back a couple weeks later and I did another bounty hunt event. And I did about three or four, even four or five different bounty hunts throughout the day. Some of them you've seen if you watch my live streams, you've seen the commercials that I've done. I've showed one of the more recent ones. There was another one where I went on Instagram and I posted in Arabesh handwriting the name of a bounty hunter that I don't like. And so when I went live in the park, I sat in Docking Bay, just in a little corner in Docking Bay. And I went live and I said, look, I need you guys who follow me on Instagram. If you come find me, figure out where I'm at and tell me who my least favorite bounty hunter is, you can come claim the best card. It was claimed by a really cute little girl and her family came by and they claimed it. No, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. And we even like moved, I did a different one later where I was like, okay, well I need a picture of the Dianoga from the water fountain. 
but unfortunately the water fountain wasn't working. That Dianoga feature where you do with the app where you can get his head to pop up above the water fountain. It wasn't working. So I was live for like 30 minutes and nobody could like get it. And I was like, okay, this isn't working. So I finally went over there and there were two people who were there first. And I forget what we did. We did something where we could, uh, we, I think we rolled chance cubes to see who the winner was. Uh, it was still a lot of fun. And there's still going to be more bounty hunting events coming soon. In fact, I've been working on just new ways to integrate the Disney Play app into coming up with new games. So it's it's just it's a lot of fun. It's really cool stuff. And I'm super excited to see like the potential of where the Batu bounty hunt goes. I wonder. Ready? Hi. Hi, how you doing? Good. Who is it? Dengar. Dengar. Oh my goodness. Dengar, you did such a good job. Day. Oh, happy birthday. What did I lose? I lost the thing. <laughs> happy birthday. I'll get that in a second. So, I've got a bag full of bounty. There's four bags in there. This one I'm doing later. You can pick any one. Going with that one. I'm going to open it up and see what it says inside. And what was your name? Riley. Riley? Happy birthday, Riley. Good job. And what is that? You know what that says? Can you show the people on the live stream what it says? What does that say? Any of you guys know what that says? It's going to be backwards on the stream. But anybody know what that says? You want to translate it? Yep. I got you. I don't want to be Okay, here they are translating it. See what their other extra prize is. <laughs> that, was, that didn't take too long. That was about, what, maybe five we were minutes? We were waiting for it. Oh, were you? Yeah. All right. It's, it's claimed. How you doing, man? Yeah. It's they're What's translating up? to get their bonus prize right now. I know what it is. No, no, they already got it. Right, they already said that this is a bonus. Inside Beskar. You guys just got Beskar and the credits. So yeah, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, take care, guys. Okay. Now, as much as I love the Batu bounty hunt. The last lightsaber meetup to happen was the biggest and craziest event that I've ever seen at Galaxy's Edge. Just, just watch this footage. It was nuts. Hey everybody, welcome to the Daniel Channel. I am Dano and I'm at a lightsaber meetup. Look at this. There's all the greens, all the blues, yellows, purples. I, I got a purple. Reds, couple whites back there. This is crazy. This is the busiest lightsaber meetup I've ever seen. As you guys can see, the turnout here is huge. Huge, there's so many lightsabers. Like literally hundreds and hundreds of lightsabers of all colors. It's actually like kind of a fire hazard, not gonna lie. There's a lot of people here. We're all very like close together. This is the biggest meetup I've ever seen. 
not only were there tons and tons of people and really cool custom lightsabers, but I think even somebody got proposed to. I did a live stream from it and I had my son walk around and just shoot footage just so you guys can get an idea of how packed this was. And honestly, this was so big, it'll probably never happen like this again. It'll have to be much smaller events, which makes this pretty special. <laughs> Want to hear the music too? <laughs> Thank you, citizen. Your loyalty is appreciated. That is affirmative. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. favorite moment in all of Galaxy's Edge involves this lightsaber right here. This is Rey's lightsaber from Rise of Skywalker. Yeah, no, but it's made for Asavi's hilt. So you can actually take these pieces apart and you can put them over the hilt, their chassis, that Savi's lightsaber uses. And it's fully compatible, has a little switch and everything. And I was among one of the first few people to print them. I didn't make the files or design them, but I found them online and printed it. But I was among one of the first few to print it and bring it to the park. And I thought that, you know what, what would, it would be kind of cool if I brought this to the park and tried to find Rey and show it to her because Galaxy's Edge takes place between episode eight and episode nine. She doesn't get this lightsaber until the end of episode nine. So way after Galaxy's Edge. So I was like, well, I just wonder what would happen if I showed it to her and I spent all day trying to track down Ray, I kept asking Chewie, where's Ray? I kept asking Vimerati, where's Ray? This is Vimerati. I'm on a mission. I'm looking for a scavenger from Jakku to give her this scrap metal. Have you seen her anywhere? I, last time I checked, she was on a mission for the General Arvana. Okay. Do you know whereabouts she is? Is she towards town or is she maybe off somewhere else? Hmm. Well, I would check the resistance base for sure and see if she's there first. Okay, good to know. Thank you very much. So off past the marketplace, if you follow a trail outside of town, you can go out past the ruins. Supposedly, supposedly the resistance has a base set up out there. I'm trying to get this over to Ray. Have you seen her? No? That way? Okay, we'll check with her. All right. And finally, at the end of the day, I'm hanging out with Star Wars IRL. And it was kind of cool because he doesn't live on that coast at all. So we're hanging out, walking around, doing, you know, just talking about whatever. And... <laughs> We're getting milk at the milk stall, and Vimerati walks up and says, Oh, there you are. I've been looking all over for you. I know where Ray's at. Let's go. And 
initially I wanted a Star Wars IRL. I wanted him to like come with and help film it, but he was still like getting his stuff together, and I was like, I uh, I don't want to keep Vi waiting. I don't, uh. and I just went. I just I was like, you know what? I'm gonna record it myself on my phone, so it's not the best quality. <laughs> and and it was just it was my moment. You always hear like these posts and see like these little stories of like oh. Vi Marathi showed up and took my kids on a mission, and they went and they hit from the first order. And you know what? As a 36 year old man, I got to do that too. When Vi Marathi found me at the milk stall and was like, "Hey, I know where Ray's at. Let's go." And so I was like, "Okay, let me fire up the camera. Let me get the character. Like, let's do this." And me, as a 36 year old man child, got to have that fun, like 10 year old boy moment that I wouldn't have had otherwise. And she guided me, we walked through the outpost, we went through the marketplace, took a little shortcut, we were kind of hiding. And it was just amazing. She brought me over to Ray and she says, hey, this is him, this is the guy I was telling you about. And I show Ray the lightsaber and you guys can see what happens next. All right, crew, Bye, Marathi just rendezvoused with me. She let me know Ray is at the resistance base. I think we're gonna find her this time. You knew this mission was important to you. It is, it is. I'm glad I can help. for the resistance. Yeah. Whatever I can do to help burn down the order. <laughs> <laughs> I like the sound. <laughs> I'm sure you have the eyes of the spy. Maybe you'll spot her before. Maybe. Yeah, let's see if she's here. I know there's a lot of decoys of her. It's like when I'm pulling out like Where could she be? Ah, okay. Ah. I see a Wookiee. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Oh, let's sneak up. Ray, I have something for you. For me? I want you to see this. It might look very familiar. It does. It looks like Exactly like your staff, yeah, kind of more like that. There we go. There it is. Well done, did you make that yourself? I did, I did. I crafted it myself, but I wanted you to see it for the future in case you have any designs in mind. Thank you so much. I'm so All glad right. you found me. Yeah, I'm so glad we finally got to meet. Just remember this you're going to need it one day. All right. Oh, All right. Just All right. <laughs> and as you can see, it was kind of anticlimactic. She was just like, okay, cool. <laughs> No, I don't know what I even expected. Honestly, I didn't expect anything. I just wanted to see what she might say. I was like, okay, let me play along. You know, like just remember this for the future. You're gonna need to know what this looks like. It looks like your staff. It was, it was just a cute, fun, interesting moment. Some people have called it cringe. I don't disagree. <laughs> but it was just a real. It, for me, it was like one of the best moments to be able to actually be for a second there, a real Star Wars, like on a Star Wars mission with the Resistance, trying to bring Ray her lightsaber. It was. I'm a nerd. I know. I know. I'm a big dork, but it just meant a lot to me, along with all the other, you know, the collaborations, being there for Rise of Resistance with Magic Journeys, Miguel and Janelle and, and Star Wars IRL, Ash and Brian, Sir James. There's a lot of people, all the people from the droid group, people I've met through the Batu Bounty Hunts. A big part of what makes Star Wars Galaxy's Edge so special for me is the community, the people that I've met through it. Now, personally, I'm fairly antisocial. I go to work, talk to my wife, talk to my kids. But that's it. I, I mean, I have friends, but I don't see them often. I don't talk to them or text them or anything. So for me, or the first day I went to Galaxy's Edge, that night, that night, that Friday night, May 31st, a year ago today, I remember telling my wife that night, like, wow, today was like the most social I have ever been, ever. I'm a recluse. I'm an old hermit. I just kind of keep to my office and do videos and that's it. And so it was so different for me to like, it kind of got me out of my shell a little bit just to be in that environment and to be like playing along and just like, just into it and having fun. And it's, I don't know, Galaxy's Edge is a pretty special place. I know a lot of people in the beginning, a lot of the haters were like, oh, it's a flop. Why didn't you make a Tatooine? Oh, good. There's, I, we can go on. That's a whole nother video as to why you, they didn't make a Tatooine. And I think that they made the right decision because why would we want to relive stories that already happened when we could create our own new ones? Right. I, it just leaves more possibility. Either way, there's a reason those people don't get to create things. And there's a reason that creative people do get to create things. Right. It's been a great year. With... Happy birthday to you, by the way, S4D. I didn't forget. <laughs> but it's just been a great year 
of Galaxy's Edge. I can't wait to see how it changes. I hope it's for the better. I hope they lean in more into the immersion. It's not perfect. I understand that. They really do need more aliens, more droids, more more liveliness to the park. That would really, really change things. But I'm doing my part with the bounty hunts, with the droid meetups, with all this kind of stuff. I'm trying to make sure there's stuff for the community. There's stuff that maybe I wanted and didn't get. Yeah, no, more, maybe even more, you're right, maybe even more types of droids. Who knows? Who knows? The possibilities are out there. Hopefully Disney does us right. But just a big, huge thank you to all the Imagineers, to all the people at Lucasfilm, all the people at Disney Parks who, like, put together Galaxy's Edge because it's it's amazing. The community around it has been amazing. And it's just, it's all love, man. It's all love. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this long long trip down memory lane as we examine my personal memories of galaxy's edge during its first year it's a mouthful we'll do it again next year maybe depending but if you like it leave a thumbs up if you hated it leave a thumbs down that's cool but either way share the video subscribe to the channel and until next time may the force have with you <laughs> goodbye forever okay i know what you're thinking that was a great dano channel video what am i gonna watch next well guess what I already picked two videos that you should watch. Click any one of those boxes. Just make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you got the notifications on. And I will see you in just a few seconds. Go ahead. Click one of those boxes.